Shalom, 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 shalom. Before we even get started, first and foremost, want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem Rakakadash. Secondly, want to give double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone who rule well. And third, want to give salutations to all the occupants of the hopeful elect that putting forth this word and this truth and righteousness and sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, 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 my brotherhood car of gms south carolina midlands and pretty much man we're gonna go ahead and get into this quick uh video right here and you know once again man you know <laughs> the, the 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 end of the nigga woman man you know what i'm saying you know and, and, and for those that that hate you know what i'm saying they, they, they hear us you know say the saying you know stay away from the end of you know what i'm saying you know there's there you can have women of the other doggone nations okay <laughs> you know what i'm saying you don't have to you know what i'm saying you you don't have to just settle all right for the end of man all right you, you know what i'm saying that you can't do no better but uh you know the, the, these are reasons why we say that man and then is all of them no you know cuz you have uh you know, you have a few, and it's very, very few, uh, you know what I'm saying, sisters, you know, that that that, that are in order, man, all right, this is not a re representation of every, every, you know what I'm saying, every, you know what I'm saying, so-called black woman, you know, but it's a majority of them, though, man, this is their mentality, this is their mindset, because this is their queendom, not kingdom, but this is their queendom as well, to Esau, allow women to be whores out here, man, he give them liberty, all right and that goes against the scriptures man all right that's why the most high he's gonna he's gonna bring so much judgment man you know and, and we always say man majority majority of the two-thirds due to the fact that there's more women on earth than men you know uh you know majority of the two-thirds are gonna be goddamn women man because because it's just you're gonna have knucklehead don't get me wrong you have knucklehead wicked ass niggas that most high is gonna destroy too all right or two-thirds of israel all right but majority of the two-thirds are gonna be you got them women man. okay and, and 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 here's the number one reason right here man. all right because you damn women don't have no shame in babylon man all right and, and one at one time and y'all gonna understand when i play the video at you know at one time you know they have a saying in the world you know, uh, 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 a woman, uh, a woman, uh, a woman would never tell. A woman, she'll take it to her grave. A real lady would never tell. See, right then and there, you know, you know, you, you, back then, that's a saying. Women out there, if, if you're going to take something to your grave, you know, you did something that you had no business doing, something that you was not, uh, 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 you know, proud of, or something that you know your significant other would approve of at the end of the day for you to have to take something to your grave. You know what I'm saying? Back then, you know what I'm saying? Women, they, 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 you know, they had a little shame or whatnot. You know, even though they were doing a little wickedness, but they had a little shame. Today, these women don't have no shame. They, they put all their business, and they, you know, what they do out in the opening, man. They'll tell you how many bodies they have. They, they don't mind telling you how many men they're sleeping with. Back then, women used to lie and shit, man, about that. How many bodies they had or whatever, you know. Now, you know, hey, man, 2024, this is the end of the world here, man. You know, a woman tell you straight up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm dealing with you, him, him. He taking care of this. He taking care of that. Can you take care of this? You know, man, hey, well, 2024, man. Listen, all right, and y'all listen to this adulterous woman right here, this nasty, filthy ass woman right here. You know, can't even believe certain words that she, that 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 she utter out of her mouth, man. All right, and she, I'll let y'all hear. It's my little family. That's my hubby. Two of my boys. There's another one. And I am currently pregnant. I am an African American black woman. I have multiple kids. Of course, that means I have multiple baby daddies. 
Because my two oldest are only 15 months apart, I knew I had to get it in really, really fast. After I had my first one, it was only five months old. I went and found some random on the street and made sure I got it in really, really quickly before I even like healed interiorly and had my second. After that, I went and found a nice white man that can take care of my family because I knew without him, we would be on government assistance forever. Luckily for me, the white man understood that I was a hoe. And so I had this baby. And even though we've been together for five years and the baby's only three, you know, he just understood that it's just in my nature. So he stayed with me. After I cheated on him and made my youngest baby, it was really important for me to have a baby by him. Just in case he divorces me, I can take alimony and child support. I know for a fact that he's the father of one of the babies that's inside of me, but I'm not sure they're twins, and he may not be the father of that. That's the story of my life and how I became 28 with three kids living, two inside of me, and five baby daddies. That's a nigga woman right there, man. And, and 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 then, mind you, mind you, she's saying all of this while she laying right beside the fucking Edomite, man. <laughs> you know, she's saying all of this while she laying right beside the Edomite, man. So it ain't, it ain't like she lying to him, you know what I'm saying? So he already know. Well, that's Esau. You know how Esau, he's into that shit, man. Esau's into that. He probably love watching if she has, you know what I'm saying, other partners, man. You know, a little uh, cup or whatever they call them damn type of uh, cats that love to watch their women get banged out. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? It's all kind of it's wicked regardless of how, how, how you see it. But that was just embarrassing, man. To hear this damn, this illiterate, stupid bitch right here just run her fucking mouth, man. And have no goddamn shame whatsoever. All right? You just, I mean... Man, boy, I tell you, man, to, 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 to put your to put your rod in her, man. You know, you know, you committing suicide, man. You committing suicide. Cause ain't nothing but death between them legs right there. The bitches told you, man. She'll fuck her random. Anybody can get that right there, man. What the hell you want to deal with that type of woman? You know, she ain't got no demons, problems on a community property at the end of the day. But these women, those are the type of women Jacob run after, though. They're the type of women they love, though. These type of women they'll fight and kill over and doing prison time and niggas in the graveyard for these type of hoes right here, man. You know? And try to turn into a housewife. And obviously, she ain't trying to be a housewife, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? She coming right out, speaking and saying what she does, how she give it up, why her significant other, you know what I'm saying, her husband, laying in bed next to her with all them damn kids by all these different men, you know what I'm saying? But this is Babylon. This is a product of Babylon, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't even be too shocked, you know? You know what I'm saying? Because... With these damn women these days, man, 2024, you can't put nothing past them at the end of the day, all uh, right? There's no, they, they don't have any morals, man, no integrity out here, bro, all right? You can do what you want to do. You can catch bodies, how many bodies you want to catch. You can't shame me. You can't shame me, you know what I'm saying? But most I'm going to shame you ass. Most I'm going to put y'all bitches to fucking death, man, all right? Because you, you women ain't going to be reserved for the men of the Lord, the elect in that day and that time, man, because your ass going to be fucking contaminated, man. All right, especially bitch, you up there laying around with a fucking Edomite, man. You know you, it's a wrap for your ass, man. First of all, you got all them baby dad, you got all them kids and shit, all these different niggas. No, that's a wrap anyway, man. No, your wound, your wound ain't defiled in the motherfucker, man. All right, but let's get let's get Sirach, uh twenty six, man, and let's read verses twenty four and twenty five, man. It says, uh, a dishonest woman. Condemneth shame, man. It is a dishonest woman condemneth shame. Yeah, man, because you know she ain't gonna have no damn fucking shame, man. You know, hey, did, did that woman have shame of sleeping around with all those men? She was telling them damn stories, man. She was, she was, she was talking about, you know, her committing adultery, and she was speaking on it like she was speaking on, you know, what I'm saying her, you know, her, 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 her day, you know, what I'm saying, you know, you know, like let, let's say for example, her day on a damn job or something, you know, let, let, let's say, you know, you, you telling somebody how your day on the job went, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's how she was talking about. Like it's some normal shit or whatever, you know, her sleeping around with all these men. That's a normal conversation for her, man. You know, it's regular, you know what I'm saying? You know, tell you, boy, these women don't have any goddamn shame. 
All right. It says a dishonest woman could dim of shame, but an honest woman would reference her husband. Man. Yeah, it's an honest woman will reference her husband. Yeah, an honest woman, you know what I'm saying, ain't going to commit no damn fucking adultery on her husband. An honest woman going back all the way, you know what I'm saying, to Genesis, man. All right. Matter of fact, matter of fact, nah, I ain't even got to get that. Man. I ain't even got to get that. We can get, uh, yeah, I can't bump that. I'm going to get that because spirit, spirit was on me to get it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna get we're gonna get right back to that Surat 25 again, though, but hold on. So we're gonna read Genesis uh three and sixteen. It says, Unto the woman, all right, he said, and she was talking about Eve. I mean, y'all about your speaking of Eve and all you all you Eves out here, man. You Eves out here. All right. They have a problem listening, following, and you know what I'm saying, you know, and being subjective upon your husband husband all right not husbands <laughs> okay it says unto the woman he said i would greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception in sorrow thou shalt bring forth children and here's the point and thy desire shall be to thy husband and he shall rule over thee so your husband's supposed to rule over you man all right so you know, if if your husband's supposed to rule over you, which he's your Lord at the end of the day, like like scripture said, like Sarah, which is, you know what I'm saying, was the righteous act, she called Abraham her Lord, which was her husband, all right, at the end of the day. So, is a woman, is you going to sit up there and commit adultery over your Lord, all right, over your husband? No, you you know, a righteous, you know what I'm saying, a righteous woman ain't going to do anything like that, man. A woman that fear you, how about your mouth shy, ain't going to do nothing like that, man. At the end of the dog on day, but these damn bitches out here in Babylon, man. All right, all these damn fucking end dubs out here in Babylon. All right, totally opposite, man. They do they they do as they please. They feel like they have the right and they have the liberty in which they do in Babylon, wicked ass fucking Babylon, to go out there and commit all kind of inequity upon inequity upon inequity, and they can be proud of they can be proud about it and. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to be held accountable. All right. Cause they'll, you know, they'll cuss you out of you if you sit up there and you tell them about their damn selves, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, they'll turn it around and make it look, trying to make you look crazy. And here is their ass going off, man. All right. And they, they all out of order. Okay. You know, but like I said, this is a product of Babylon. And you can hear her talking like a, a stupid nigga woman talking about, yeah, because this white man, he didn't come and he didn't deliver me pretty much. You know what I'm saying? I would have been on Section 8 all my life. And, you know, and now, you know, I got a child just in case Alan, oh, man, we're just broad here, boy. I, I mean, boy, I tell you, just listen to her talk, man. You get a fucking headache, boy. Um, This right here, Ephesians 5. In 22, it says, wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Yahweh Bashem Shah. All right. As unto the Lord, Yahweh Shah. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Mashiach is the head of the church. And, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject to Mashiach, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything, man. To be, you know, supposed to be subject to your husband unto everything, man. Okay, all right. Not out there, you know, committing adultery. All right, having all these damn fucking partners getting it in, sleeping with randoms and shit. You know, these bitches made this a lifestyle, man. Do you run to me twenty three? All right. And seventeen, man. Do you run to me twenty three and seventeen? And it's red. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. There you go. But 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 our women, you so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native American, the women tribes, all right, the women of our tribes, all right, so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native Americans, man, they're the biggest whores, man, on this goddamn planet, man. All right, and we've never seen an example of one, and we can we can show you examples all goddamn date, man. It's going fucking social media, man. TikTok and shit, man. All right, look all these damn so-called Instagram models and fuck they uh, only fans and shit. That majority of our damn women on that shit, bro. All right. Selling and you already know what they selling out there. But anyway, do your run me once again, 23 and 17, man. All right. It says, um, there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. That's what y'all about your mouth shot said, man. That's how serious that is, man. And what our women are, man, the biggest whores, the biggest sluts out there, man. All right. It says, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. 
And you got, and you Jake, y'all the biggest rainbow niggas out here too, man. All right, y'all the biggest, man. Y'all worse than fucking Esau, man. Y'all, y'all, like the scripture said, you know, y'all don't even hide it. You don't even hide it, man. You see, see it in your continents, man. Don't even freaking damn hide it, man. That's what, that's what I say, man. That's what I said, most high, he gonna take out two-thirds of our people, man. Because our people are heavily involved in these type of wicked-ass fucking activities, man. All right? Now, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much done made all the point here. We gonna end with St. John. That's what Yahweh Shah said, man. All right? You know, when the wicked-ass Pharisees try to bring Yahweh Shah, the, the adulterous woman, all right? And which, according to the law... You know what I'm saying? You commit adultery, you're supposed to be put put to death, man. But there's mercy, there's grace on the law. You get your damn act right to repent and return back to Yahweh Bashim Al-Rashad. Grace doesn't mean that the law is done away with. Grace doesn't mean you can continue on the sin willfully. Grace means that, you know, on that law, Yahweh Bashim al technically, he can put your ass to fucking death, bring judgment on you right then and there. But mercy and grace, due to Yahweh Bashim was on the cross, you have time to get it right, man. You ain't got, most time giving you forever. All right, you ain't got no damn forever in a damn day. All right, now let's see what Yahweh Shah told this adulterous woman, man. Okay. All right, these wicked ass Pharisees that bought the adulterous woman to Yahweh Shah. Let's see what Yahweh Shah, how he dealt with that. Um, Matter of fact, I'll start at, uh, up top, verse 1. All right, it's right here, St. John 8 and 1. Yahweh Shah went unto the Mount of Olives, and early in the morning he came again into the temple and all the people came unto him and he sat down and taught them and the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, they say unto him, master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. So they, they caught her ass in the goddamn act, man. All right. You know, you know, and brought up to Yahweh Shai. Okay, because, you know, these Pharisees, they was wicked as hell, man. All right? They was wicked as hell or whatnot. And they always try to try try to find some blame on Yahweh Shai, which they, which, which they never could, man, at the end of the day, bro. All right? But nevertheless, let's finish up. It says, verse uh, verse 4 and, and red. And it says, matter of fact, let me read, finish on verse um. Yeah, verse 4. Yeah. They say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Verse five, now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned, but what sayest thou? And which accordingly, yeah, she's supposed to, but remember there's grace on the law and y'all was shot about to cut their ass because these damn niggas, you better believe they don't went off on the law, all right? And they don't broke some laws that's worthy for their ass to be put to death too. So you better believe it ain't going it didn't go into this account that that's actually what Yahweh Shah did when the wicked ass Pharisees start to walk away from the elder all the way to the youngest when Yahweh Shah was writing in the sand. So you already know he probably was writing down all these goddamn transgressions and all of them left confounded at the end of the goddamn day. But the main point uh, uh, the topic, you know what I'm saying, that, that I'm going into is let's pay attention to what Yahweh Shah told the woman, man. All right, hey, 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 do as you want, baby. Live your life, baby. Live your life how you want to live it, baby. This, you know, Yahweh Shah ain't telling no shit like that, man. All right, you know, let's see what Yahweh Shah told her ass, man. Okay, all right. Um, And like I say, verse five, of course, she's supposed to be stoned, you know what I'm saying, that type of wickedness, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know, she's supposed to be stoned in front of the congregation of Israel, so that so so that uh wickedness can can go out of Israel, man. Okay, so everybody know that okay, if you commit a sin like that against Yahweh Bashim Shah, you commit adultery, all right, or witchcraft, or uh being a sodomite, or being a fucking murderer and shit, this is what's supposed to happen to your ass, man. You're supposed to be put to death on sight, bro, in front of the whole congregation, and that brings fear amongst the congregation, and and when and when and when they see your ass stoned to fucking death, man. They know and they have fear like, okay, we know not to do that, man. All right. Because we don't want that judgment right there, bro. All right. You know, but uh, going back to uh, St. John 8 and 6, this they said, tempting him that they might have to accuse him. But Yahweh Shai stooped down and with his finger wrote on the ground. See, 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 so these guys, man, they came with semantics, man. All right, these niggas came with the agenda, but Yahweh Shah already knew. He already knew these wicked Pharisees and, and scribes were wicked as hell, man. They already had, you know what I'm saying, their own little fucking agenda trying to trap Yahweh Shah up at the end of the day. But look how the Lord trapped them up in their own net, all right? It says, this they said, tempting him, that they might have to accuse him. 
But Yahweh Shah stooped down and with his finger wrote on the ground as though he heard them not. So when they continue asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. And they which heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the eldest even unto the last. And Yahweh Shai was left alone and a woman standing in the midst. When Yahweh Shai had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Red letter Yahweh Shai. And let's see what Yahweh Shai told this, this woman, even though she had some wicked ass accusers that was accusing her. And her ass was fucking going off because her ass ain't supposed to be committing no fucking adultery. But let's see what the Lord told this damn woman here. Red letter Yahweh Shai, um, last ver um, not last verse, but verse 10. When Yahweh Shai had, had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Have no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. And Yahweh said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. So the most I say, I'm not going to put you to fucking death right here and right there. It's grace and the law. Technically, your ass supposed to be put to death, but it's grace and the law. So I ain't, ain't going to condemn thee, right? This, this is what the Lord told her. Go and sin no more. The Lord said, Go and sin no more, man. All right. He's told her to go and sin no more. What is sin, man? You, you know, you may ask, what is sin? According, according, um, according to the scriptures, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? Let, let's see what sin is according to the scriptures. Because the church, they'll tell you the law is done away with. But then the law done away with, which they don't have no uh, full understanding of. If the law done away with, then sin is done away with. All right. Which we know that's not the case at the end of the day. That's an oxymoron. Because if sin done away with, that means none of us sin. That means we perfect. That means we already in the kingdom. That means, you know what I'm saying? We up under the, the second, I mean, the new covenant already fulfilled. We're not going to go off if there's no more sin. All right. According to the people out there in the world that say that the law is done away with. They don't, they don't know the meaning of words, man. They don't know what sin is according to the scriptures in which we're reading right here in 1 John 3 and 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So according to the law, you don't supposed to be committing no adultery. You're not supposed to be put to fucking death, period. You know what I'm saying? But Yahweh Shah said, I'm not going to condemn thee because grace on the law. All right. But he told her, sin no more. The Lord didn't tell the woman, continue on living your life, baby. Do as thy will, baby. No, the Lord told her, sin no more, man. Don't be committing no more fucking adultery. That's wicked as all hell. Don't, you know, don't, 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 don't be sinning no damn more, man. All right. Like I say, back St. John um, 8. All right. Verse, uh, verse, uh. Verse 10, um, hold on. Yeah, verse 11, Shalot, verse 11. All right. Um, she said, no man, Lord. And Yahweh Shah said unto her, neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. So Lord told her, don't, don't sin, man. Don't sin no more, man. Don't commit that fucking sin no more. So so, so the Lord ain't, ain't giving no high five or whatnot. You know, gave her a pass. Don't give her a pass or whatnot. Okay. He had, he, he gave her mercy. Yahweh Shah show mercy in which he does, all right, for you to get it right, okay, for you to repent, all right, but with that, man, that's the uh, end of my lesson, I pray, and I hope that it was edifying, I want to say shalom, shalom, to the full, like shalom.